Hello guys and welcome back. Today I have a bit of a um, different video for you guys. I'm outside and I'm going to be drawing here. I have already prepared a sketch and I based it off this flower here. I also had some references. I will be putting them up on the screen. So this is the flower right here. I thought it was quite pretty. The way these little pieces extend and then the inside of the flower here. You can see a little bit of some marks there. You can look at it better in the picture. Also, I was also inspired by these colored pencils that I <laughs> that I haven't used. These Prismacolor Botanical Garden set. And I just thought it was the colors were really pretty. And I opened them up. And I saw I had the perfect colors for this flower. And I also decided to put a hummingbird here decided these colors were pretty nice for the hummingbird. So here's my sketch. I have these flowers here and then the hummingbird. So the the only things that I will not be that I will be using that are not included in this Prismacolor set are a Faber-Castell sharpener. You can use any sharpener, but I just have this one if you guys are wondering. I will also be using, because it's not included in this set, a white color. And I will be using this this um, Prismacolor. This is P30, which is magenta, and that is not included in this set. But you could use all the other colors, but I just want to use this one so I can get... I guess rid of this one before I start using these other ones. And for the sketch, I used this pencil. It's just uh, a random pencil. It's called Easy Come, Easy Go. If I find where I bought it, I will put a link in the description for you guys. I forgot to tell you guys, I will also be using this kneaded eraser that I got. It's just a regular blue eraser. I got it from Faber-Castell. And the noises that you guys hear are... My cat that's coming and the dog that is barking at the cat. Okay, so I have already started coloring in the flower. And for the most part, I will be using this whole set. So you pretty much need this set, a white and a brown. That's all. You could probably mix your own brown with this, but I'm going to be using brown for the convenience. And my cat is also right here. So now back to the drawing. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll probably just move it around for you guys. So I'm just starting off with this pink. It's 929. And I'm just going to cover the whole flower with this color. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to color the whole thing in. Just most of it. Because we're going to be coming in with the, the white pencil. Because I know that this flower here looks like a magenta. But these flowers come in different shapes, sizes. That's why this one's a little bit different. I want to do the version that's a little bit lighter, that's kind of more like this pink instead of this magenta. So I'm just going to be putting in this pink lightly in there because we're going to be mixing it with the white to make it lighter. But I'm going to take my d to d eraser and knead some of the outline out. Cause I don't, I don't really want it to show. And I thought about outlining this in a like a black micron or a permanent marker, but I don't think it would look realistic, giving it lines. Cause then you will give it a more cartoony look. So I'm gonna take these out. So now I'm just doing like the outline, but with the pencil, the pink pencil that I have. Just so I can see where I'm going to be putting down the color, where am I going to be blending, and where the flower ends. Because it can get a little confusing if you don't have any like boundaries. So 
Now I'm gonna make these lines as my boundary so I, I make sure not to go over. Okay, I'm done putting down the pink as a base color. Now I'm gonna go over with the white. So with the white, I'm just gonna be going in in circles like that so you can just smoothen out the color. Here's a closer look. So I'm just gonna be coming in with my pencil and going in circles. And as you can see, when I'm doing that, the color is gonna be getting smoother. So all you wanna do is smoothen out that color. So now you can see here, it's smoother than any other place. So that's, that's all we're doing. And we're gonna do that for the whole flower. And just so you know, the more pressure you put down, the lighter it's going to get. So for example, if I want it to be light on this side, I'm just going to put down more pressure. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it is lighter here than it is here and here. Okay, so I have finally finished blending and adding all the color till I want the color or shade or tint, whatever that I want. So... I don't know if you guys can see, but the flower kind of has a bit of texture there. So, it's okay if you have a rougher sketch here. That's fine. Because we're going to add details later on anyways. And the details are kind of going to look like what I have already. Okay. I'm going to insert the picture again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The flower kind of has these little specks. And we're just going to be drawing those in. They don't have to be perfect. You kind of just do it randomly. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. The only thing that I've noticed is that when you start at the top, you start with one or two and then you gradually go bigger. Okay, so from the bottom, there's always going to be more. So it's like a pyramid. So you're going to have more down here. And as you go up, you're going to have less. You're going to have one or two at the top. And also, they're darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. So apply more pressure at the top. Okay, so for the flower, I added this line to follow it and find the center. Because my original sketch was kind of erased when I used the kneaded eraser. So now from here, all I'm going to do is start doing the... I forget what these are called, but these are the little lines in the flower that allow the, the flower to catch and contain the pollen. So I'm just going to draw them. And I'm not going to draw the circle in yet because the circle is actually gray. So I'm just going to draw them in. They don't have to be perfect. And I can kind of see my sketch, but it's, it's not quite visible. So because I'm trying to limit my colors to this only, I am going to be using this green and this blue. This is The blue is number 919 and the green is number 911. So for this, I will be starting off with the green and I'm just going to be doing the little details for the little little points that are on, that are on these lines and just little ovals that are going upwards. So once I've put my green down, all I'm gonna do is on top of that green, I am gonna be putting the blue. And I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but I'm trying to mix a green here using the colors that I already have. So because that is not quite the color that I want. I'm going to go in with number 1009 and just trying to blend it in. 1009 is very opaque, very deep, a very deep color. So I'm not going to be using too much of that. So now I'm going to go back with my green, my pre the previous green that I was using and you. I'm just going to be blending that in. And it's fine if it's like a greenish gray. That just gives it a more natural look. So I'm not gonna be bothered with that. And just to mix it up some more, I'm just gonna go in with the orange. And I think that gives it a nice, like a, a brown gray almost. So for the other side, 
I just did the exact same thing we did on this side. Except, now this one doesn't start in the middle. It starts on the side for some reason. It's at an angle, but I didn't get the angle quite right. But, sketchbooks are just for practice. So I can always just fix this up digitally or redo it. So now, I'm going to start fixing up the sticks. So I'm going to go back with the pencil I added in at the beginning. This is Sienna Brown, number 945. And I'm just going to sharpen it to a point just so I can get in the details and darken the lines there. So I'm going to start on the farthest side first and then go from left to right. So I'm pretty much done with the flowers at this point. All I'm going to be doing now is filling in the leaves here with a light green, which is this one, number 913. And then I'm going to go with the details for the, for the leaves with 911. And because it, in the picture, I will insert it again here, it is, it does have some lighter parts. For the lighter parts, I will be using this yellow, which is 915. And then I will be, for the darker parts, I will be using the brown that I added in, which is 945. So when I'm done with that, I'll come back. For now, I'll show you guys how I'm going to be doing it. So for this, the leaf part, I'm just going to be starting and just coloring the whole thing in this green. And I'm going to do that for all of them. And then I will come back and show you guys how to detail them. For the details and the leaf, all I'm going to be doing is going in with different shades of the color. And kind of going off the picture, but really not. So I know that the lighter, the lighter spots are coming from up here. So the lighter texture or colors are going to be coming from this side so i will be adding them on this side of the leaves or on the tips of the leaf depending on what angle it's in so that's all i'm going to be doing so now i am going to go with this this brown just 945 and I'm just going to be doing the darker values going from the bottom to the top depending on the angle of the leaf. And then also at the top I'm going to add just a tiny little bit because in the picture the leaves have like this brown edge. So I'm going to put that in there too. For all of them. And then I'm going to blend it with my white pencil. So I'll show you guys here. I'm just going to take it and go over the whole thing and just blend it. I don't want to completely blend it because I still want some of that texture, but I'm going to blend some of it. So after some time of working, I finally finished it. And here's the results of the flower and the leaves. I will be adding in some other details and finishing the hummingbird, but that's for another video. Please like and subscribe for part two.